Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the age of a person or entity using JavaScript. Now, I've already done some, done some work uh, on, on this thing where, where I created a uh, HTML page with just one form element. And you can see that here, basically a text, a text element. And that's within a form. And what I want is to have the, the age of a person calculated just below the, 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 the text element here. Uh, in, a, in a paragraph and inputting anything in the text element that's what on key up does would trigger the function calculate age and and the function calculate age is a javascript function which basically does nothing but reflect the the, the stuff i input in that field so whatever i input would be reflected down here and the way that the way that's done i have a, a, a variable and that variable gets whatever the, whatever is input in the in the field birth date the value of that and that is being then output uh, down here in the in the element calculate age and that calculate age is basically that paragraph in here so right now what i want to do i need to uh, calculate the age of somebody now in order to calculate the age of somebody you need two things you need the birth date that's obvious and you need today's date so let's get st let's start with the birth date now the guy's inputting, or the user's inputting something in this form. That's the guy's or the person's birthday. Now, how can we, what, what can we do with that? Well, first of all, that is a string. I need to convert that into a date object. And the way I do that is the following. So now I've created a new variable called birth date, and that is an object of type date, and that object is being instantiated or, or created by whatever I input in the field birth date, the value thereof. Right. Now, uh, it's not enough to have the birth date, but what I got to do with that birthday right now is to I need to parse it into year, month and day. So basically birth year, birth month and birth day. So let's get started with the birth day. And that's like the birthday birthday day and which is basically the birth date which the, the object i created here but that function get date would basically get the day of uh of, of the birthday let's try it out uh let me put as output value that instead of this save that let's reload and uh, let's let's try it out 1987 03 22 Oh, somewhere is a mistake. Let me see where. Oh, I got it. It is here. Okay, save it. Let's reload again. Let's try it out. So, 1987. You see, now I get one, which is basically basically for the 1st of January, because until now, the, 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 you know, the JavaScript is not seeing any day. 03, now 15, now you get the date. Okay, and if I take that off and put 30, then you get 30, right? Okay, so we got the, the day, in, uh, right? Now, how do I get the month of the year? Basically the same procedure, just different functions in here. And those go like this. And here we have it. Birth date month is basically birth date. Then this time we call the function get month. And for year, we get the function get full year to get a year with essentially. Right, so that is, that is uh, regarding birth date. Now, the next thing we gotta do basically very a similar procedure for uh, today's date. And first of all, we have to create an object called today's date, and that would go like this. There we have it, today date, and there we have again a new object date. This time, in, the, the, in contrast to above, we don't give any date, meaning just give me today's date. But then we do basically the same thing here with, uh, with 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 today date where we take we parse that object date into day month and year and the way that goes is as following and there we have it so now i have gotten all the data that i need i've got the birth date and i parsed it into day month year i've got today's date and i parsed it in day month year now comes the calculation so first of all let me create a variable called cal Calculated age, and that is currently zero. And now we gotta do some work. So let's get started. Uh, if 
how, how, how's birthday being calculated? Let's say if I, today we have 2020, the year of today is 2020, and I'm born in 1980. So how do I get, how do I calculate the age? Well, what we do mentally, we do, we take the year of today, which is 2020, and we, we subtract from that the year of a person's birth date, right? And that's exactly what we're doing here. And we add a year to it. So basically, uh, let me just put something like that. So if, if you need if you need to calculate the, the age, calculated age is basically uh, today year minus birthday year. And semicolon. And let's try it out. If I let me reload and if I input a year, let's say 1987. Uh, is there something, have I done something wrong? Oh yeah, I forgot the D here, no sweat. Save that again. Now let's put in here, 1987, you see 33, 1988, 32, 1980, 40, and you know, 2000 is 20 and so on. So I'm already doing some calculation, which is pretty good. Right, now, We've got a slight problem here. If I'm born in in November uh, uh, 2000, I wouldn't be 20. I would still be 19. So here we have to use a condition. And the condition looks as follows. If the month of today is bigger than the, day, the month of the birth date, then that's true. All right. However, if not, so basically if I'm born in February, and today we have May, if I'm born in February, my birthday is past, I've gotten a year older, I'm like 20 if I was born in 2000. Otherwise, my, my age would be basically that. minus one, right? Let's save that, let's try it out. So I've got like 2000, and I'm born in November, and you see I'm 19. I'm born in February, I'm 20. So you see the difference, I'm born in May, I'm 19, because May, you know, we're still in the middle of May. I was born in April, I'm 20. So we figured we already have a better calculation than before. Now we've got to do something for the current month. What about the current month? And here we've got to add another else if, or an else if basically, we haven't got any else ifs. And the else if is nothing else but today. So basically if the month is, if the month is, let me just, if today's month is greater, that's figured. Otherwise, you know, it's like you, you, you haven't aged yet. Uh, out, but the else if covers if today month is equal to birth, birth date month. And now what happens here? Well, here we've got the bulk of the work. And so what happens here? Let's say we are in May, and let's say I'm born in, I was born in May. Now, May can be divided into two parts. One is if today, if my birthday is already passed in May, then I'm obviously gotten a year older. If not, I'm still young. I, I still haven't aged yet. So how do I do that? Well, here we have it. So what I'm saying here is if today is bigger or equal than your birthday, than your birthday, then you've gotten older. You know, your birthday is past and you've gotten a year older. Otherwise, you're still the age of last year. And that is now the complete function. So 
if you see now, the way the logic goes is, if today's month is bigger than, if today, if, if May, if today's month, like i.e. May, is bigger than what you, when you were born, then your bubble is obviously aged. Now, if today's month is equal to uh, your birth month, well, that then depends when in May, for instance, were you born. Today we have the, uh, let me see, the uh, 14th. If you were born on the 14th or previously, then you've aged. Otherwise, you have not aged yet. So if you're born on the 13th, you've aged. You're born on the 14th, you've aged. You're born on the 15th, not yet. Tomorrow, you will age. And here, otherwise, you know, if you're born in November, October, whatever, then you haven't aged yet. So let's save that and let's try it out. And let me reload. So let's take 2000 because, you know, it's pretty obvious. So 2000, uh, March, obviously I've aged. November, obviously I have not aged. Let's go to May. May, hmm. Now, let's see. I'm born on the 13th. Yep, I've aged. 14th, yep, I've aged. 15th, nope, not yet. 16th, uh, not yet. So in there, now, you have a full wor fully working age calculator where you can get immediately or instantly the age uh, based on the, on the birth date. 